Hello wonderful people, it is Genevieve and in this video we're going to draw some really cute Christmas sweaters in Procreate. So open up the app, create a new canvas and let's start drawing. We're going to start by organizing the file so that we can create a bunch of little sweaters very easily and super quick. So go ahead and start by creating a new layer that you're going to rename to ends. And this first few steps might seem a bit crazy but trust me, believe me, it's gonna work out in the end. Then create another layer on top of that and set it as a clipping mask and rename it to blends. So all we're doing right now is just preparing the layers for when we draw. You're then going to create another layer. This one is not a clipping mask and you're going to rename it to shirt. Another layer. This one is a clipping mask applied to the shirt layer and you're going to rename it to design or art or whatever you want. Then you're going to create a new layer. Again, a clipping mask. This one you're going to rename it to textures. And another layer, this is the last one, believe me, clipping mask as well, and you're gonna rename this one to shadows. And you're then going to group all your layers by swiping them towards the right and then clicking on the group option at the top and renaming this group to sweater. Great, so now that we have this out of the way, go back and select your shirt layer as well as the color that you want your shirt to be. So I'm going with a bright red because I know Christmas, but you can really go with any color that you want. It doesn't even have to be Christmas themed. And I will be using brushes from my ultimate gouache brush set, which will be linked in the description below along with a promo code just for you guys. But you can really use any brush that you want for this tutorial. It's just that I want to have some sort of texture in them. Um, in my design and you're going to draw this rounded rectangle or square which is going to be basically the body part of the shirt and if you are using a brush that has some texture like this one make sure that your strokes are pretty much all in the same direction so you can see here when I'm coloring in first of all I'm not using auto fill because I do want to have the texture of the brush but I'm also always coloring from like top to bottom and bottom to top just so that the texture actually shows up and you're then going to add two little shapes on the side for the arms. So nothing fancy here, really just very simple arms. Once you're happy with your basic shape, go to your layers and select ends. And go ahead and pick a different color. So I'm just going to go with a slightly darker version of my red. And just draw kind of little ends that would be on the sweater. So around the wrist. Um, that different type of fabric and then you can draw some sort of a really fun neck piece as well um, and then the same thing at the bottom just kind of a thicker fabric at the bottom as well and this just kind of helps making the sweater feel a bit more interesting but also more sweater-esque <laughs> and less just like a, a regular shirt once that is done go ahead and from your layer panel select the blending mode of the line layer and set it to linear burn you're then going to pick a different brush that has a bit more texture, so I'm going with the soft square, and you're going to set it to a fairly small size. And uh, you can see here I made a little mistake, but make sure you have your line layer selected, and that's the layer you're going to draw your little lines on. And really all you're drawing is just lines, vertical lines, across your end pieces. So on the bottom, on the sleeves as well, the sleeves, I mean they're not going to be vertical, they're going to be angled. but you get the idea and um, yeah once you're done you can play with the opacity of the layer a little bit if it looks too dark for you you can definitely change that but that's that's all there is to this step honestly and at any point during any tutorial really or any drawing if you don't like the shape of what you're working on you can always select that layer and in the adjustment panel set liquify and set the tool to push and that's going to allow you to just kind of move around the paint on the canvas without having to erase it or redraw it, which is really helpful. That being said, go ahead and select your texture layer and set it to linear burn as well. And this time you're going to pick a like a grayer version of your color, but stick to the same brush with the same size. And you're going to draw little groups of one to three um, little lines. And that kind of mimics the texture of a sweater. You know, a sweater is kind of either knitted or like some very thick like brushed wool so you would have these like little hairs poking out and I mean they're I guess they're optional but I, 
I really think it makes a big difference in the end and it's just cute. Um, yeah. <laughs> And just like for the lines layer, feel free to lower the opacity of the textures um, if they're just too dark for you. So once you have your little hairs in place, go ahead and select the shadow layer and set the blending mode of this one to soft light. You're then going to pick a like very bright and dark purple, almost blue, as well as a super textured brush like the uh, dry brush from my gouache set. And you're just going to quickly brush over the bottom right corner of your sweater. And the goal here is really just to add texture and color variation, so don't worry too much about it. And once you have it done, go ahead and select the Hue Saturation Brightness tool. And you can shift the hue one side or the other until you get something that blends a bit better with your initial color. And once again, you can definitely play with the opacity slider as well. So that's how to create the base of your sweater. Now the next step we're going to do is basically we're going to create a design. So I'm going to show you a couple designs here, but you can really just go wild and just use this video as a draw with me and do your own thing. But yeah, we're going to start with some of the traditional Nordic type of Christmas sweaters. So I'm using the soft round brush from the gouache set, but again, you can use any brush you want. And for this type of design, I'm going to start by creating some sort of a zigzag line at the bottom of the sweater. And then I'm just adding some little plus signs instead of stars, um, kind of on top of that zigzag line, it's just because the stars, I, I've tried with it and it just looks a bit too much in my opinion, but again, feel free to draw whatever you want. <laughs> and then I'm drawing little dots in the opposite side. And then you're just going to do the same little pattern on the bottom of your sleeve, so near the wrist. So again, one little zigzag line and then plus signs, and then you finish with little dots. For this one, I'm gonna keep it a bit more simple around the neck and the shoulders. So I'm, I am going to draw a zigzag line as you can see here, but I'm not gonna draw the pluses, I'm just going to draw some little dots. So now we're ready to move on to the most interesting part, at least in my opinion, which is drawing the center part design, which has some little cute deers. So to do that, go ahead and color in a wide um, strip of white in the middle of your sweater, as well as maybe two smaller secondary lines um, below it and also above it. And for the reindeer, go ahead and pick your eraser and start by erasing just little rectangles, which is going to be the body of the deers. And then you're going to add the neck, which at this point is literally just going to be a vertical line on one side of your, um, your rectangles. And the head, which is also going to be a little line, this time a horizontal line on top of the neck. So nothing fancy, we keep it super simple. And at this point, I highly recommend you make your brush a bit smaller. I didn't do that, but oops. And you're just going to draw kind of a V-shape on top of your head, which is going to be the ears. And then a longer V-shape, which is going to be the antlers, as well as, you know, two little dots on the top of the antlers, just to give them a bit more of an interesting look. And finally, or not finally, not yet. You're just gonna draw a little angular line that's going to be the tail. And then finally, <laughs> the legs. So literally just four little vertical lines, two in the front, two in the back. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm telling you that. You knew that already, <laughs> but yeah. So it's a very cute design, but it's super easy to do when you separate into different little shapes like this. Speaking of cute design, here's how to draw the little stars like you can see on the left. So you just draw um, kind of a plus sign, but that is made of two different lines every time. And then you just fill in these lines so that they are actually triangles. So make sure to look at the video to fully understand that example, but you can see it's super simple. And then you can just add a little circle or dot in the middle and on the side, and it's going to look really legit. And when your main design is done, feel free to go ahead and sew with the eraser. Just erase a little bit more details or like little dots and stuff like that. So once you have a sweater that you like, you can always just 
collapse the layers, so collapse the group, and then swipe it towards the left and duplicate it. And quickly adapt it to have a different type of sweater. So what I like to do is just tap on the design layer and clear that. And then select the shirt layer and from the hue saturation brightness tool, just shift the hue so I get something different. I'm going to go with a green here. And doing the same thing with the ends layer, so hue saturation brightness in the adjustment panel and shifting the hue so I get a nice green that I like as well. And then fine tuning the secondary layers like the lines as well as the textures and shadow layer so that everything is cohesive but without having to redraw anything. And at this point, basically, you're free to start a brand new sweater in just like a few seconds. So going back to your design layer, you can draw a totally different design. And you could also go with something a bit more complex for your design. So what I like to do sometimes is just create another layer that this one I'm going to rename to Art. And this is where I would personally draw like more illustrative types of elements. So here I'm just going to draw a very simple um, tree. I was going to say snowflake, wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just like a, a Christmas tree, which is made of two stacked triangles very fancy you know but um, in the example at first you did see a snowflake as well as a reindeer and I like drawing it on a separate layer because since it's kind of a, a like a separate object or animal or element you can then just use the arrow tool and move it around in your sweater um, which you cannot really do with the patterns because the patterns need to be in a specific place but this kind of object you can definitely move around and just see where you want to place it and maybe shift the size as well so that's why i draw it on a separate layer and honestly that's really all there is to it uh not more complicated than that i would really love to see what sweaters you guys create so make sure to share the results with me either on facebook instagram or twitter and if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really really does help the channel and last but not least don't forget to subscribe because i put out new videos every week